What up YouTube, this your boy Down Low back with another industry talk. Let's begin off talking about Young Money. Young Money Cash Money has finally got themselves some debit cards in which they're going through Discover. Now, and you know, it's a decent way to make money, but I gotta say that it's been done so hard by now that there isn't very much money left for them to get. And that's one thing that you should always not do. Just follow what everyone else is doing because Russell Simmons came out with the Rush card. Damn, even Kim Kardashian got a damn card. You got to come up with something unique and different. But I wish them well even though these debit cards be bullshit. I mean, if you look into the fine print and realize the transaction fees that they hit you with, it's really some bullshit. But anyway, since we're talking about Young Money, Drake came out and announced that he is already working on his third album, and I applaud that. That's what you're supposed to do. You can't sit up and be like, I got the number one album, I sold this much, I'm good, I can take a vacation. Nah, you got to get back on that grind immediately because the labels is going to want you to come out next year and dudes like me are going to be like, you need to come out harder next year too. So the sooner you get back on that horse and start making them songs, the better the album will be for next year. So you definitely need to stay on the grind and not take anything for granted. Next, something that amused me. MTV is bringing back Yo MTV Raps the show. And you know, I'm all for that. I really liked it, but they kind of messing it up. Because it's coming back December the 4th. It's going to be 11 p.m. on MTV2. I don't know about you, I don't get MTV2. And I'm not going to buy MTV2 for Yo MTV Raps the second coming. And really, 11 o'clock is not really the time that it needs to be. It really needs to be on the time like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, like BET got for 106 and Park. But I really think they screwing it up, but I wish it the best because it should still be good. And lastly, B.O.B. He went on ahead and donated $10,000 to the Poor and Homeless Foundation. And you know, I'm all good with that. That's really what's right. Now, a lot of people will probably be like, $10,000 isn't a lot of money for a guy in his position. But keep in mind, B.O.B. hasn't really proved much yet. He hasn't really sold all like that. So that $10,000 hurts. And that shit will hurt for damn near anybody who ain't on that high of a budget yet. So, it just shows that he does care. One thing that I'm like, why not go ahead and work with 50 Cent to do some shit? I mean, you know how 50 got that Street King energy. But, either way, I love the positives that come out of the rap game. But yeah, this was another Industry Talk.